Alrighty. Hello everybody. This is my first tutorial ever. And I want to show you how to do these squint images where you, if you squint your eyes or move the screen very far away, you see a different image than you would see at the first glance. So for example, you could turn the Zyoda stencil into something like this. I tried to make it a scene from Star Wars, you know, where the X-Wing is caught in the swamp. Yeah, if you squint your eyes a lot, you can see basically this dude in this. So how do we do this? We need to use stable diffusion. So of course you can use your uh, local install or Google Colab. I personally prefer a diffusion hub. Diffusion Hub is basically a, some sort of online install of Stable Diffusion, which runs really fast. You get 30 minutes for free uh, in the beginning, and you can choose different plans, like a very fast one with a 100 uh, graphics chip. But we don't need such a fast thing for our photos or images. So we will just go with the basic version. Actually, I tend to use basic expert, and I don't know why, but it gives me a little bit more feeling of uh, control with installing stuff. The neat thing about the Fusion Hub is that you don't have to care about installing, or as I only have a very shitty laptop, or like a standard laptop, but with not a great GPU. Um, it runs Stable Diffusion so smooth. I did use a lot of Google Colab, but it was always a hustle somehow, um, as I'm not good with coding and stuff. And I always had to search for the newest notebooks and stuff. And these guys just keep everything up to date. They're really fast with answering in the Discord or um, accepting like requests for new features. So yeah, make sure to check it out if you want or if you're in need. It's diffusionup.io and of course I will link everything in the comments below. So this is the interface um, of Diffusion Hub. It's familiar. It looks like automatic 1111, 11, I guess. The first thing we want to do now is to download a special control net uh, model. So we go to model downloader, go to control net model, and this specific one is called QR code monster. So we install it. What I do is always install the config, paste URL, start download, success. Then I take the save tensor file, copy address, paste, download, and we successfully did that as well. And then you go to text to image, Upload your image that you want to be the reference into here. Mm, here we go. So when I was reading about this topic, they said it was best to take stencils, as the whole thing kind of comes from the QR code universe, which is black and white. Um, but as you will see later, it also works with standard images with where the background is not so busy. Um, but yeah, stencils for the beginning uh, work very good. So you enable that, you choose pixel perfect, and with the control weight, you can basically adjust how strong the initial or the, this image should come out in the, in the uh, final image. So it's said to be good at around 1.2, then you really have to squint your eyes a lot, but then from my perspective, the magic becomes a little bit uh, more intense because you cannot 
see it at all in the beginning. And you choose here, maybe a little refresh for the model, you choose the QR code monster, and then you're already set. Um, some forms said if you put the starting control up to 0 0.1 and the ending control up to 0 0.9, you even get better results. I couldn't really tell, so even 0 to 1 works fine as well. Anyways, now I did use realistic vision. Oh no, I will use deliberate for that. As you can see, you have a lot of pre installed uh, checkpoints, I think they're called. So we take deliberate. It takes a little bit to load, but not a lot of time. And then we basically tell it what we want to see. Um, so for this scene, I want a star. Star was like jungle swamp uh, X wing spaceship oh, like an abandoned X wing spaceship mist flash X terrestrial jungle whatever I'm not really good at prompting uh, English is also not my na native tongue so I tend to go a lot to civet AI and copy prompts there uh, but we'll do that later I prefer DPM to M Karas as the sampling method and we can already crank the size a little bit up to 124. So we just get nicer images. Uh, the sampling steps should be at 30, but of course you can like vary. Then we hit start. Let's see what we get. Here you can now see the first glimpse of the control net. Then around this, the jungle will evolve. Ah, you can already see it nice. And here you have, well, those fractals don't make a lot of sense now from my perspective. So I would maybe remove the mist because it makes those things stand out more. And we crank down a little bit the control weight to make it even more... <laughs> Yeah, invisible in a way. Uh, let's see what it does now for this. So the spaceship is not really there anymore, but it's kind of more overgrown. But yeah, as you can see, it's more like uh, blended into the whole scenery. And if you squint your eyes, you see Yoda pretty well. Okay, next up I want to show you that you can also use just a normal image. Let's take this person for example. And you see there's not a lot going on in the background. I think that helps a little bit. So you can always remove the background with any tool you want. And uh, that's when I go to Civet Eye always. You can, for example, yeah, make an image that is like trash and have the person still somehow visible. We can maybe use this here. Just copy this prompt. Remove this lore because we don't have it and hope that realistic vision will still deliver some nice results. Loop this one. And then we add slump area full of trash at New York City. Trash can garbage, blah blah, slum city poverty, item lights escape. Railroad, we don't need a railroad. Maybe we need cab. 
Okay, the dramatic river, dramatic, we don't need a river in here as well. And then we generate, and you will see that it now takes the image as a base. I'm now at 0 0.9, starting control sub 0 and control sub 1, so with 0 0.9 it should be very vaguely visible. Um, let's see what it does. Okay, you can already see it, but it will not be very visible in the end, because now everything else will pop out. Let's see what it does here. Okay, you can already see that you won't see a lot, but it's also that in the end, if you really squeeze hard, well, this one's really tough. Okay, let's crank this one up. Let's crank it up all the way so you see what the difference is. I like the realism though here. You can already see here that now from the beginning on the initial image is way more present than with 0 0.9. Okay, and if you squint now, you can, it's still pretty vaguely, but if you know what's going on and if you tell people to squint, and especially if you show them various pictures with the same initial image, like I did here, for example, uh, this is also the same image. If you squint, you can see uh, this person um, with different styles, and if you put them together, tell the person to squint, you can uh, makes it easier for people to see what you uh, put as initial image. And while this is loading, I want to say thank you if you have any more questions regarding the whole process. I'm also pretty newbie, as you could probably tell, but maybe this helped. And yeah, leave your Leave whatever you want in the comments or give me a like or, I don't know. Just do what grind you, grinds your gears. Have a good one, bye. Of course, we need to check if it scans in the end. Well, there's a car, which was my intention. And it uh, does not quite scan. Yes, it did. Sometimes you just need a little bit of time. Okay, I guess that's a good word to finish this tutorial. Bye-bye.